There is a high demand for radiologic technologists. All right, what'd you do and where's it hurt? I'm also going to be moving the table to make sure I'm in the right position. When we take x-rays. I just did an abdomen series on a patient. Uh, I took a picture of her chest, her stomach upright, and her stomach flat. If a person needed to watch a person swallow, then we would be doing varying studies to watch it as it's going down the esophagus. She was a younger patient. And it appears we got everything we needed for the pictures today. We can um, take a normal x-ray, which is a still picture, or we have a specialized machine called a fluoroscopy. Take them into fluoroscopy, it's like a live camera version of the people. Um, we go into surgery on the weekends and we film while the doctor's doing portacaths, fixing broke bones. There's many modalities of x-ray. You can go into MRI, CT, mammography, PET. And just for your basic x-ray degree, uh, it's two years and you can, you can go on as long as you want or stop right there. We have, of course, biologies that are involved to learn the soft tissue parts of the body as well as the bones because that is what we mostly focus on. With some of the new technology today, the digital equipment here, the just take an x-ray on a, it looks like a plain film, slide it in here and the image comes up on the screen several seconds later. I work Saturday, Sunday, Monday, um, seven in the morning till about eight or nine at night. If you want eight to five only, you know, you could work in an outpatient clinic. It's only open eight to five, but working at a hospital, it's uh, very flexible. I love working with people. I love helping the people. I uh, love my schedule. I feel at the end of the day is I'm on a natural high. The three P's of radiography, people, patient care, and the pay. That's what I like, especially the pay.